I, I love this game. This game is great. This game is great. Um, but yeah, it's pretty much the same garbage. Just gotta keep restarting. That was horrible. That was a horrible turn. But these idiots are still scripted to screw. Oh, that car is finally the red car is in front of the green one. It's always like two cars ahead of me. But right here is where they always stop, and I gotta pretty much clench myself right here. Oh, to God! Oh, he got through! And there's no violations in this game, guys, so... If this was F1, I'd be screwed, you know. Oh, you've been given a two-second time penalty for that last incident. And, uh, we're right here, we're finally coasting. And it, and it seems like everything's gonna go great, you know? We're just coasting along behind these two cars, you know? And that's it, yeah, that's great and all, but then the actual Auschwitz happens where we pretty much all just die and then I end up restarting the game again because these idiots don't know how to race. Like, why are they stopping so much here? Like, hopefully I can get a little bit of bump draft from this guy right here. A little bit, but not that much. He's, he's pulling away from me now, but I'm going to stop right here break a little earlier than I usually do and hopefully catch up to them. I am, which is great. Hopefully I get some bump draft from them and then I'm starting to pass this guy right here. I'm going to head him to the left. But he's pushing me off the track. What is that? What is that? What is that? Guys, please tell me. What is this? What are these CPUs? Oh, hell no, dude. Look at this. Look at that. Why are you stopping? Why are you slowing down? Just keep going. What are you doing? It's like, dude, they gotta work on the CPUs for this game. They're, they're okay, but they do not give you room. It's like you're not... It's like you don't exist. I mean, I don't exist. I mean, I have no friends, so... Makes sense, but God, it's the game, dude. Come on, give me some slack here. I'm gonna break, because they're gonna just do that. <laughs> oh, I could have died there. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much the game right here. I gotta hit first gear, let these guys fight a little bit up ahead. And then go accelerate. And hopefully I can catch up to them. I mean, they always break on that one squiggly turn on that uphill, so... I might just pass both of them. At that point right there, but I mean, I don't know. I gotta be easy on the freaking gas here. There's a car with too much power for this little car, so... It, it does understeer, or oversteer, I don't even know which one to do it, but here I should pass them both on this top turn right here. Because I just gas it all the way, and these idiots just break all the time. I don't know why, you should just literally let the car coast for a little bit. Hopefully get some bump draft off this guy, um, some slipstream, and then, yep, I pass him, that's great and all, you know, but where, where does that leave me? I mean, I'm breaking late. No, that's actually pretty good, that was actually a really good breakage right there. That's pretty good. Just hug this corner right here so we can fully get through there. Release the throttle a little bit on that corner. No braking needed. And then go to second gear on here and just coast. Just coast all the way through this corner. Don't even don't even press the gas, nothing. Just ease off the off the pedal a little bit. And then brake and ease off the pedal and then gas it again right there. At full blast. We got one idiot behind us, this little BMW right here. You might pass us in a little bit. But I'm going to break a little later than usual, not hit anything, hopefully I don't die, he's going to pass us, that's fine, it's fine, we'll get a little bit of bump draft off him, it's fine, every time they're, every time they're in first place, they, uh, you know, the people, it's just how aerodynamics works, they, they get, they get a little bit of, uh, dirty air, oh my god, these tires are wearing out on me, god. Yep, these tires are not doing me any favors. Yep, he's getting away. God damn it. But it's fine, because they're programmed to just break on the top of that hill. So I can just catch up to them and win like a whole ass second. But right now I just gotta book it. I gotta book it and I gotta stay on him, because these idiots are catching up behind me. Which is amazing. It's not really. He's off the gas a little bit here so I can make a tighter turn. And hit fifth gear a little bit just to get that little extra little boost and then just ease off very gentle very gentle with everything and then fully gas it again and then we should be catching up to him a little by little 
So this turn right here, this first turn right here is always the one that screws me over. And just turn, careful with the throttle, and then keep going. You just gotta keep going, gotta keep moving, gotta keep moving. But yeah, this is this is Gran Turismo. I've been doing this for God knows how many times now. He's off the gas a little bit. Oh, the car almost got away from me there. But it's okay. We're still going, we're still going. But we got a whole last second now. We got a whole last second. We're, we're within one second almost of the car. So now we just gotta stick with him and get that bump trap. Let's hug this chicane right here. Hug this guy right here and we should catch up to him and like lickety split. Hopefully. I mean, I don't think so. I need to bump draft on him a little bit. Oh, he's easy. I'll get it outside. Oh, these tires are getting wearing off on me, dude. Yeah, you got away. God damn it. Well, I got second place. Screw it, bro. I don't care. Um, but yeah, this is Gran Turismo for you. I mean, the tires are just ass now. I don't know what's up with them. They're just... It says that they're not even, like, worn out at all, but, I mean, I feel the whole difference right here. I feel that there's a huge difference on the tire wear, but, hey, you know what? That could be me. I mean, I'm not that experienced in this garbage. I'm going to hug this corner right here, and then it's, I'm not catching up to him. There's no way. How did I get fastest sector for that one? I don't even know. God only knows. Oh man, my two rear tires are almost at a quarter, which is amazing. Of uh, being worn out. Oh, that quarter! That is horrible. Horrible. Yeah, these tires are just done for the... I'm gonna have to cut the corner a little bit right here. That was not the greatest thing I could have ever done, but it's fine. We'll take second. I don't care at this point. We're really ahead. I just hate how in practice the tires don't wear out. Like I want them to wear out so I get the full experience of working with the worn out tires. <sighs> but yeah, this is this is absolutely BS, man. It's like they can just keep, they don't even have to press the brakes, but the AI is so dumb, like they always have to brake on that beginning of the, that one left turn up on top of the hill, or the bottom of the hill. God, I'm like four seconds away from this guy now. That is not awesome, man. Frick. I'm going to brake like right here. Let go of the brake, ease on the gas a little bit. We'll throttle it again, ease off it. Full throttle again. I mean, I don't even know why I'm saying it. You guys can see on the bottom of my screen. Oh my god, these tires are the worst. Who made the tires? 99 cent store? Look at this! I'm surprised I'm like getting away from these bums behind me. I'm surprised I even made that corner, no problem. What the? Okay. All right. Just a little bit there. Just hit the cor corner. I hit the cones a little bit there, but it's okay. Look at these tires, bro. No, bro, this is not cool. I can feel it in the wheel that the tires are just giving out badly. The guy behind me is catching up, which is pretty typical for a game like this. It's always the AI, like in FIFA, when you score like two goals, let's say, the AI magically just gets goaded all of a sudden. Oh, I actually made that one pretty nice. gas right there and just keep going well we did we did some pretty good time on that last lap and then we just start turning a little bit right here sweetheart there you go 
I'm actually really surprised at supplies surprised that I got this far I usually make it to like three laps on average and then I wreck or something hopefully it doesn't happen right now that turn is right here in this exact spot where I'm at is where Antoine Huber that F2 driver died he got squished by like a bunch of F1 cars that were coming up behind him and they hit the part of like the fuselage so he instantly got freaking exploded Nope, nope. Oh, that was close. That was really close. All good though. We're good. Yep. Swear, bro. He got away. Now all I'm getting now is like his dirty air, because all that air, all that slipstreamage is gone. I have to catch up to him and be right on his tail. To... No, man. What the fuck, bro?